students uh, myself Nirun Puria from Engineering Institute of Engineering and Technology so in last session we derived one equation of the Bezier curves so in today's session we have to solve one numerical based on Bezier curves okay so in today's session we have to solve one numerical so example number one a Bezier curve is to be constructed using control point P0 35 comma 30 P1 25 comma 0, P2 15 comma 25 and P3 5 comma 10. So total 4 control point is there. So value of n is equal to 3. That's why we have to use equation for the 3 vertices over here. Okay. The Bezier curve is encode P0 and P3. Find the equation of the Bezier curve and plot the curve for u is equal to 0. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1 means first we have to find out the equation of Bezier curve after that in that equation we have to put different value of u and we have to find out different coordinate according to value of u and after that we have to plot the, the curve of the you know, synthetic curve ok so this is the given data P0 35 comma 30 P1 25 0 p2 15 25 p3 5 and 10 and value of n is equal to 3 because total number of control point is 4 so value of n is equal to 3 the parametric equation of Bezier curve for the three vertices already available p of u is equal to 1 minus u cube p0 plus 3 into u 1 minus u square p1 plus 3 u square 1 minus u p2 plus u cube into p3 this equation is already we derived in our last session. Now, first we have to derive equation for the x coordinate. Clear? So, we have to just write down in previous slide equation. In suffix, we have to just use x. P of u of x is equal to 1 minus u cube p0 x plus 3 into u 1 minus u square p1 x plus 3 u square 1 minus u into p2 x plus u cube p3 x. So, P0x means uh, x coordinate of P0 point. P1x means x coordinate of P1 point. P2x means x coordinate of P2 point. And P3x means x coordinate of P3 point. So, put x coordinate of all these coordinate over here. Okay. So, 35 into 1 minus u cube plus 75 into u. 1 minus u square plus 45 into u square into 1 minus u plus 5 u cube. Now you have to simplify this equation in next step. So what is the equation of 1 minus u cube that is 1 minus 3 u plus 3 u square minus u. Already you know that this equation. So 35 into 1 minus 3 u plus 3 u square minus u cube plus 75 into u simplify 1 minus u whole square 1 minus 2 u plus u square plus 45 u square into 1 minus u multiply 45 u square in inside the bracket and in last 5 u cube okay and simplify this equation means uh, multiply 35 inside the bracket and 75 u inside the bracket and you will get this type of equation 35 minus 105 u plus 105 u square minus 35 u cube plus 75 u minus 150 u square plus 75 u cube plus 45 u square minus 45 u cube plus 5 u cube and if you subtract or add same terms like u square u cube and u so you will get final answer that is 35 minus 30 u okay so this is the answer for the x coordinate now same way we have to find the answer for the y coordinate so first write down equation of y coordinate so p of u of y is equal to 1 minus u cube p0 y plus 3 into u in bracket 1 minus u square p1 y plus 3 u square in bracket 1 minus u into p2 y plus u cube into p3 y. Okay. So now you already know that p0 y means y value of y coordinate of p0 point. p2 y means value of y coordinate of p2 point. p3 y means value of y coordinate of p3 put all the value of y coordinate over here so 30 in bracket 1 minus u cube plus 75 in bracket u square 1 minus u plus 10 into u cube okay now you have to simplify this equation 
allocate 1 minus u cube over here and multiply 30 inside the bracket okay 13 bracket 1 minus 3u plus 3u square minus u cube plus 75 u square minus 75 u cube plus 10 u cube and if you multiply 30 inside the bracket then this equation converted like this 30 minus 90 u plus 165 u square minus 95 now we have both the value p of u of x and p of u of y okay so the parametric equation of Bezier curve P of u of x is equal to 35 minus 30 u and p of u of y is equal to 30 minus 90 u plus 165 u square minus 95 u. Okay. Now this is the parametric equation of Bezier curve. Now we have to put value of different value of u inside these two equations. Clear? Like this bracket, the point on the curve obtained by varying the value of u. 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8 and 1 in above equation are shown in below table. Means in above two equation only one unknown is there that is u. So first you have to put u is equal to 0 in both the equation and find out p of uh, x of 0 and p of y of 0. Same way put 0 0.2 in both equation, put 0 0.4 in both equation, put 0 0.6 in both equation put 0 0.8 and 1 in both equation and you will get different value of px and py like this clear so point number 0 2 4 6 8 10 value of u 0 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and 1 if you put u is equal to 0 in above equation at that time you will get answer 35 and 30 if you put 0 0.2 in above equation you will get answer 29 and 70.84 if you put 0.4 in above 2 equation and you will get 23 and 14.32. If you put 0 0.6 in above 2 equation and you will get 17 and 14.88. If you put 0 0.8 in above 2 equation and you will get 11 and 14.96. If you put 1 in above equation and you will get 5 and 10. So this is the answer you have to calculate this equation clear. You have to calculate in you have to calculate all the value in calculator in exam. Okay, right now I just tell you all the answer. Okay, so this is the answer. Now we have all the answer of p of x and p of y. Means this is the coordinate answer. Now we have to plot all the point in on one Cartesian system. Clear? First we we uh, in given data already we have four point p zero, p one, p two, and p three. So first we have to uh, plot all four control points. After that we have to plot the table value. Clear? Like 35, 30, 29, 17.84, 23, 14.32. This is we have to consider as x coordinate and y coordinate. X coordinate and y coordinate. Clear? P of x of u indicate x coordinate. P of y of u indicate y coordinate. And you have to plot all the curve on the graph. And one graph is generated like this. So that is the Bezier curve plot using the above coordinate is shown in figure like this. So this is first we have to plot P0 that is 35, 30. Then P2, 25, 0, P2 and P3 means P0, P1, P2 and P3. First you have to plot that four control point. And you have to draw straight line, straight dotted line. You have to join all the four control point with straight dotted line. Clear? So P0, P1, P2 and P3. After that you have to plot the table value. So if you see in this diagram there is one small black, black color dot is there on the curve. That is the all the dot indicate the uh, P, P, G, P of U of X and P of U of Y value. Clear? So you have to judge, first you have to just uh, point out all the point of value of P of U of X and value of U of Y. After that if you join all the black dots with free hand then this type of curve is generated. So this curve indicate the Bezier curve. Clear? So this is the answer of Bezier curve. So in today's session, we discuss, we solve one numerical based on Bezier curve. So in Bezier curve, first you have, in any of the numerical, first you have to identify that how many vertices is there. If total number of six point is there, first you have to identify that you have to consider value of n is equal to 5. In this numerical total 4 control point is there. That's why we consider value of n is equal to 3. And using this 3 value we 
First, we have to find out equation of p of u of x. After that, you have to find out equation of p of u of y. After that, you have to put very different value of u in that equation and you will get different answer. Clear? And you have to plot and you have to join all the points with free end and you will get your final answer. Okay? So, in next session, we have to discuss various surfaces. Clear? Like analytical surfaces and synthetic surfaces.